Ontario has always been the largest city in this region, so it and its surrounding cities have always been known as the Greater Ontario Area. That would include Pomona, Montclair, Claremont, Upland, Cucamonga, now Rancho Cucamonga, and Alta Loma. And Frank Zappa was doing things in all these places while he was here. This was Frank's training grounds here. This is where Frank paid his dues as a young musician, composer, and songwriter in development. The way I see it, Barry, this should be a very dynamite show. I don't know how to explain it. I just loved Frank and I adored him and I thought he was the best brother anybody could have. So like anything he did was okay with me. He was going to form a band and asked me if I wanted to, to join up. So I went to a practice session, a bunch of us. And from, there, from there on, it was uh, playing with the man. It was really a symbiotic relationship because he, he taught me a lot about music and I taught him a lot about electronics and mixing and that stuff. Frank and I quit the orchestra on the same day. Frank did it rather dramatically. He threw the drumsticks at Blake Slee from the top of the orchestra. Resume. He was hired to compose and record the soundtrack for a low-budget movie called The World's Greatest Sinner. Now, when Frank made that recording, he did so right here in the Chafee College Little Theater. And so he disappeared, and I hear, and I hear this kind of scream. He answered the door naked. <laughs> <laughs> and they had an act. They showed up wearing straw boaters, okay, and red and white seersucker sports coats, and I think bow ties. If Frank were here today, he would say that this is the little house I used to live in. I mean, everybody else was playing Martins and Gibsons and acoustic kind of guitars with flat top, and Frank pulls out this F-hole arch top jazz guitar. So I go back in the kitchen and Frank's on the floor holding his stomach, rolling back and forth, laughing. So this is not only where Frank rented his first electric guitar, but it's also where he purchased his first electric guitar. That was a, a black jazz master that he used to use when he played the clubs around here. But the whole thing was that, that we had to, when spoken to, we had to reply so that we were beatniks. We were rent a beatniks. You're my pricky pickinese, I'm your hee hee pickinese. It's our, our, our for love. He bought the studio for me <laughs> for his jazz master guitar, his drums, and his vibraphone. And that was that was about what I got the studio for. Well, now, what do you know about the old studios in Worms sitting from the rear tattoo shop is down here? Well, it used to go out another probably 15 feet out of okay. where the street is now. Okay. We had gone over to Hollywood, bought a bunch of stuff, and had it all stored out there. It was going to be great fun. And, uh, and then it got raided. And that was the end of that. This section up here is the former Tank C section of the county jail. So it was up here is where Frank served his 10 days. Well, this here is the former Broadside Bar. This is the birthplace of the Mothers of Invention. Mm -hmm. 